Okay, this video is demonstrating a MIR-C pair of controllers. MIR-C is a contact closure transmitter, and what that means is, is I can push a button here, and I can control a relay here. There's a wireless transmitter that, that speaks from this device over to this device. And every time I push this button, it'll control this relay. Now, both sides have to be powered up right now, but I wanted to start the video with only, only the transmitter powered up because here you'll see that there's a solid LED. Now if I plug in power to this device you'll see that the busy LED starts flashing and that indicates that it's communicating to this device over here. So whenever I push the button it'll control the relay and here the status of the relay is shown here. So when I release the button it shuts off the relay and it updates the LED over here. MIR-C controllers are used very, very frequently in, in HVAC applications, uh, remote pump control applications, and uh, many other types of, say, heater control applications. Um, one thing that's important to understand is that there are two modes of operation. There is beacon mode and there is smart mode. Now, this controller is currently in smart mode. And what smart mode does is if I were to lose power on the transmitter over here, after about 20 seconds or so, this relay will automatically shut off. And that's a safety precaution in case there is a loss of communications between the two controllers. And there, it just went off. So in beacon mode works in a very different way though. Um, when I switch this controller over to beacon mode, the controllers begin talking very, very quickly with each other and and they refresh a lot faster and what happens is is if power is lost with one of the controllers it doesn't really matter so uh, that means if I lose power with the transmitter the communications will stop but the relay will still stay on now this particular controller has got uh, a, a 300 foot range this is a very short range device it's not made to go through walls very well, and we have some longer range modules that will. But the 300 foot model is not good if you need to go through walls. It really needs to be a line of sight application. We do have a two mile range version that really does work to, uh, over a distance of two miles, and we've tested it. That two mile range version is a much better choice if you need to go through walls. Now this particular controller has got one relay and one input and I can hook anything I want to this input. I can hook up a magnetic door sensor, I can hook up uh, switches and buttons and all kinds of things. Uh, and this controller has also got one relay output and this single relay output is going to be very useful for uh, just single singular control applications. But we do make it in a two channel, a four channel and an eight channel version as well as we have some high current relay versions and some solid state relay versions as, as well. So anyway, please let us know if you have any questions and we will be glad to help you out.